Hello friends, welcome to Unity Physics System Essentials video tutorial series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss colliders in Unity. What is a collider? Collider is an invisible shape used to handle collisions between game objects. Collider is an invisible shape used to handle collisions between game objects. Let me explain it more clearly. I go to Unity. I am going to create one cube here. I say game object 3D object cube. You can see that the cube is created. It is visible in the scene view as well as the game view. If you observe carefully, cube has box collider. If I stop rendering the mesh, you don't see the box collider in the game view. That's the reason we say collider is an invisible shape. Collider is not going to be visible to the player. It is visible to us in the scene view for reference purpose. I start rendering the mesh here. I select this cube. I scale it in X axis by 10. I scale it in Z axis by 10. I'm going to create one more cube here. I say game object 3D object cube. I move it up. This cube has box collider. Cube 1 also has the box collider. Collider is used to handle collisions between game objects. To this cube 1, I add the rigid body component. I say add component physics and rigid body. We know that what happens when we add a rigid body component to a game object. It is going to be affected by gravity, right? If I click on the play button, cube 1 falls on the cube, right? It lands on the cube. You can see that. The cube 1 is not passing through the cube. What is the reason behind that? The reason is cube 1 has the box collider. If I disable this box collider, check out that the cube 1 passes through the cube. So colliders are used to handle collisions between game objects guys. Colliders are used to decide whether two game objects intersect with each other or not, whether two game objects pass through or not, or how to keep game objects apart from one another. Colliders are used to resolve collisions between game objects guys. Understanding? That is about collider. Next, if required, you can add multiple similar or different colliders to a game object. To a single game object, you can add multiple colliders guys. To this cube one, if I want, I can add one more box collider. If I go here, I click on the add component, say physics, say box collider. Now this cube one has two box colliders. Let me scale this box collider in X axis and Y axis and Z axis. I select the cube 1, stop rendering the mesh. If you observe carefully, the cube 1 has two box colliders. There is inner box collider, there is an outer box collider, right? If I want, I can remove this box collider by clicking on this gear icon, say remove component. You can see now it has only one box collider. You can add similar colliders or different also. I can say add component, physics, I add the sphere collider. You can see cube 1 has box collider as well as the sphere collider. I can remove this by clicking on this gear icon and say remove component. That's very easy. You can add and remove the components. Let me render the mesh now. In Unity, there are six 3D colliders. Box collider, sphere collider, capsule collider, mesh collider, wheel collider and terrain collider. If I go to Unity here, go to component, physics, there are six colliders you can see here. Box collider, sphere collider, capsule collider, mesh collider, wheel collider and terrain collider. There is physics 2D also to handle 2D physics. We have there also different colliders. We discuss about these 2D colliders and all later when we discuss the Unity 2D guys. Here we are discussing Unity 3D mainly. So hope you guys have clearly understood. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss each of the colliders in detail. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.